Hello everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli. Thank you for joining my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, today we're going to talk about something I've been in the news almost every other day. And I made a couple of videos about it. And that is the latest is that Tesla fired dozens. There's no exact number, but that's the way it was described. Dozens of salespeople uh, from uh, Tesla stores in mainly in Chicago, uh, Brooklyn, New York, my hometown. No, it's not. Uh, and uh, Tampa, Tampa Bay, Tampa, Florida, and other places. And that's on the on the uh, news of the lower Tesla sales in quarter uh, one versus quarter four, thirty-one percent drop. I, I really don't think it's really a fair thing to do. I mean, economically. These are the numbers. This is what you do. But the sales of the quarter four of 2018 were unusually, extraordinarily high because of the push of deliveries of orders that existed already and also the tax credit. I'm one of them. I got my, I got my Tesla. I made sure that I get my Tesla before the end of 2018 uh, calendar year. So, um, so that was that, but Tesla still uh, delivered in the United States, talking about probably 50,000, more than 50,000 cars. It's nothing, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, United States and around the world, more than 50,000 cars. Uh, it's not like uh, it was nothing. Anyway, not to get into that discussion, but um, um, the idea was that the, the stores that underperform, uh, salespeople were let go and this is another chapter in the saga of uh, Tesla is closing all the stores and moving only online Tesla is closing some of the stores and Tesla is uh, you know I, I don't want I don't know if you had a chance to visit a Tesla store these are not salespeople then this is not when you go to a to a, a, a traditional uh, car dealer, and you get these uh, sleazy, sleazy guys with a with a slick tie, with a slick tie and, and 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 suit and suspenders and all that stuff. And now you're doing yes, I have a good deal for you, and I'm going to talk to my manager, and especially for you, and this and it's all that crap. That's what we hate. Okay, we love Tesla. We love everything, Alan. I bought. Oh my! I, the Tesla I bought it's all online. I didn't see anybody. The only time I saw it is when I went, went and got it. That's it. Signed two papers and I left. So that's what we love about Tesla. So, uh, so what? Uh, what is the purpose of these gallers to have like a, a salesperson, uh, you know, annoy you and offer you all kinds of stuff? I went to Tesla stores a million times. Talked to the sales salespeople a million times. I got to say that one of them says, you know, it's great to work here because I'm, I'm, I'm not judged by sales. I just get I have my salary and that's all. And, you know, I get to get something if they sell. But anyway, it's not like the traditional salespeople who work only on commission and they have all the motivation to go after you. I understand that, but that's not what Tesla is about. If you ask me truthfully, honestly, if I'm Tesla, I'm not. If I'm Tesla, I will invest everything I can in service centers. Not in galleries, in high-end malls. You know, you can put a Tesla in the middle of a mall, like you go to any high mall, you see cars always, you know, displayed with the sticker and how much they cost and whatever that is, and nobody's there. You can, you know, just can take a look. I don't. I never understood what's the purpose of the Tesla gallery. I understand whatever different model, blah blah blah. But you buy online, invest. Here's my suggestion: invest in. Tesla service centers. That's what needed the most. The most. As many Tesla service. I mean, I'm lucky. My Tesla service center is about 20 minutes away from my house. So if I have something, I go. But you know, making an appointment there, it's not like I call, okay, can I come tomorrow? No, it's sometimes it's a week, two, three, some places is even more. So it's not like, uh, you know, you call the guy and you go. You drop your car off and you go. No. That's what you need. And, and my Tesla service center also, also has a gallery next to it. It's like the same building. Gallery on one side, and you have a person there if you want to talk to somebody or ask questions about the car, there's somebody there. That's what you should do. 
not those high-end meaningless stores I mean unless they're becoming this aggressive sleaze salespeople okay but if that's not your model and I hope it's not going to be because that's what we love about Tesla there's no sales pressure nobody is trying to sell you I mean my Tesla buying experience was the best thing I, I the best time I ever enjoyed buying a car even though you pay up your nose, but at least you know what you're gonna do. So you know what's gonna happen. It's nothing you're gonna do to a car dealer with one thing in mind, and you come out the other end, you come out something completely different. So to me, take these people, take close up all these stores, put service centers. There are tens of thousands of Teslas on the road, hundreds of thousands in America and around the world. We need to service them and it's gonna be more and more. If Tesla is going to meet their goals of, let's say 400,000 cars this year, that's a lot of cars to service. And forget about the, 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 uh, the uh, used Teslas. So we need service center. Close up the galleries, which are very nice. I like the people. Move them all to the service center. That's where you need people. That's where you need, because we need service. You know, I blew up a tire the other day. I had to do all kinds of shenanigans to, 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 to get it to, te to Tesla. I to anyway, I made a video about it. <laughs> I thank you guys for watching. Help me change the world one electric car at the time. We'll see you tomorrow.